Good afternoon, this is Headline News on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. The country's murder toll continues to climb. The latest victim, 21-year-old Akil Taylor, he was shot there just after 10 this morning in the vicinity of the Despas Ponyard. Police have no motive for the killing. No one has as yet been arrested. Shogunas West MP Jack Warner says that the UNC will file an injunction to stop the rapid rail project. Speaking to residents in Kanupia last night, Mr. Warner said if the project goes ahead as planned, it will result in the destruction of prime agricultural land and other property. He says newly elected UNC political leader Kamla Pusad Bisesa will go to court to stop the project if necessary. She is prepared to file an injunction for every home that is affected. Every home that will be affected she says that she be better fight for each one, every single one. A call today for government to take in some Haitian immigrants until Haiti can rebuild and get back on its feet. The call comes from coordinator of the Lavantil Haiti Earthquake Relief Fund, Lennox Smith. I, I am saying refugees uh, from, from the point of view that uh, they have found themselves in a crisis in Haiti and therefore have to abandon their country. But what I'm really referring to is an, is an arrangement we are hoping uh, that would be temporary, that is uh, taking some, a limited number of, of Asians here, accommodate them for, uh, for and until things normalize in, in Haiti, and then they will be repatriated. The Lavantil Haiti Earthquake Relief Fund is a combination of 12 non-governmental organizations from the Lavantil area and was launched a week ago. The group is collecting cash donations, clothing and food for the people of Haiti. Mr. Smith says they are hoping to send a 40-foot container to Haiti by the end of the month. And overseas, more help for Haiti as an improbable lineup of stars including Barbara Streisand and Kanye West have re-recorded the charity hit song We Are The World in aid of the Haitian earthquake appeal. The record will be played for the first time during coverage of the Vancouver Winter Olympics next week before being released worldwide as a download, video and CD. Stay with us for another news update in one hour and our major newscast later this evening at 7 right here on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network.